just getting ready to go out right now. I'm going to go to a few thrift stores and consignment stores. Today's Monday. On Friday, we're having a party. It's going to be like a puppy dog themed party. It's for Molly. It's her DNA reveal party. Some of our friends have dogs. So we invited everyone with a dog to come. Well, we invited other people that don't have dogs, but we invited everyone who has a dog to bring the dogs. I'm looking for some like drink pitchers, maybe even some like drink cups if I can find some for cheap. My mom found me a really big dog pool. So I'm, I'm super excited about that. I'll probably get it set up sometime this week. I'm gonna see it this week for sure. Is Wilma still outside? They're both outside. Okay. You can get them both in. Does she wanna come in? She's in here, girl. Come on, Wilma. Hi, baby. You wanna go in there with mommy too, girl? Hey, Miss Stinky Girl. I think she was digging in the, in the garden again. Molly, we just put her in her crate. Yeah. Give her a little bit of water. Or she just drank a shit ton. Oh, okay, good. She's fine. Mm -hmm. Wilma, are you excited for your party? Are you excited for your party? We'll see. Wilma might need to be put away for a good bit of the party because she is a barker. She's aggressive. She's really great with people. But she's difficult. Over the weekend, I tried a blackberry mojito. I guess you could say a recipe or whatever. But they were so delicious. We have some blackberries growing in our front yard. So that's what I used to make the mojitos. They were really good. We're going to make some for the party. But while we're out thrifting, I really want to find some like larger pitchers to put those mojitos in to serve them. I think I'm going to make like four batches of the mojitos. Last night, I also tried making like a blueberry mule and that came out pretty good. Not as good as the mojitos, but I think mojitos are overall like a sweeter drink. I can maybe make the mules a bit sweeter as well, but probably fine. I'm not even going to put mascara on. I'm just going to put a little bit of lip balm on. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. I'm about to leave because some of these stores are just now opening. So I want to get there really early. I'm just eating a chicken sandwich from Burger King. I was almost going to get the Whopper, the Impossible Whopper. But it would have been like $10 instead of eight. So I got a chicken sandwich instead. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. I went to four different thrift stores. One was like an antique store. I thought maybe I'd find like a cute picture there, but I didn't. I'll show you what I got after I'm done eating. But it took me to the last thrift store that I went to to find pictures that I liked. There was like a couple places that didn't even have any pictures. I also should have went thrifting on Tuesday instead of on Monday. Because there are a lot of thrift stores that aren't even open. I am so pleasantly surprised by the Burger King chicken sandwich. Like this is so freaking good. I would have eaten those last few bites. But I probably would have been sick. Plus I still have some fries to have. But... I don't think the Burger King fries are very good. The Burger King honey mustard though, this is good. Burger King honey mustard is good. I don't eat Burger King very often. I don't think there's really one by us. But this was the closest fast food to the last thrift store that I went. I mean, honey mustard makes everything taste good. So this is not that bad. And my old car, I don't have anywhere that I crashed. I didn't have like a good place to put my camera. 
but in Justin's car, this is a great place. This is a great spot to have the camera. That'll be something I look for in my next car. A good spot with the camera. Honestly, I'd probably film way more vlogs if I could just sit in my car and talk to the camera. Mm. This is good. These are really good. It's really just the honey mustard that's so good. I'm gonna like drink it. Let me know if you're a condiments person because I'm a ketchup girl, I'm a honey mustard girl, I'm a ranch girl, I'm a barbecue sauce girl. Anything that I can dip into some condiments is gonna be good. I could be literally dipping cardboard in some good honey mustard and I'll be enjoying it. First of all, this is not for the party. This was something that I saw at the first thrift store that I went to, and I didn't get anything else. But I saw this, and I texted Allie. I was like, do you need this? And she called me immediately, so I knew I needed to get it. This is Chef Cat. This is from an artist called Cats by Nina. And you can find these pieces at the thrift store usually, and I think that like whenever my sister sees one of these, she buys them. But it's like a little vase, a little vase. So that was super cute. That's gonna be perfect in her little apartment when I went to a vintage store like an antique shop and I love this antique shop I really really do but I didn't find anything that I needed from there so I didn't end up getting anything but then the third place that I went to was like a thrift store kind of boutique-y place it was pretty it was it was actually really nice I've never been there before but I got a small little mason jar glass the mason jars that we have are a little bit larger and I needed something a little bit smaller because some of the compote that I'm making from the berries in our yard I'm not getting like huge batches when I make them so I just wanted something smaller I got this um, Pyrex glass container good for like breads and stuff and like loaves this needs to be washed really bad it's like all dusty and then I also got another Pyrex container but this one's smaller we have a larger one it's not even ours it's our roommates and sometimes that is just too large for like a two-person meal so I got a smaller one and this will be really good for you know anything that we make for just like a two-person dinner and then from the last thrift store that I went to I got pictures finally I found some pictures these are just super basic there's a little spot where you can put your hand there's a little what is that a spout is that called a spout um where you can pour it out and I think that these are gonna be really great I got another one but it's like far down in the seat I can't reach it and yeah the last place I decided to go to finally had some pictures that I liked some of the other places had pictures and they were fine some of them were like a little bit too fancy and then that made them really heavy and I didn't want that. And then some of them were just not my style and expensive, but these were only $2. I didn't tell you guys any of the prices of anything. The Pyrex containers that I got were like $3 each. That little mason jar that I got was $1. That little cat thing was $5. I, the little sticker was on there, so you guys probably saw them. And then the last place that I went to that I got the pictures from, I also got these two small glass containers. I love glass pieces, and I wish I had a million of these to put the blueberries in for people, because that would be perfect. Like, just these little containers. What are these, a pint? You know, this would be perfect but they only had two of them and i got them anyway it's friday the day of the party it's 8 a.m i'm gonna start doing some things to get ready the first thing i need to do is make some more blackberry compote i already have quite a bit right here from a batch that i made on monday so in a small saucepan i'm going to pour the blackberries in then you just get a bunch of lime zest Hey, Wilma. Did she finish her food? Either of them, both of them. I've made the compote with lime and lemon, and I think the lime is by far better. I feel like it gives it more of like a cinnamon nutmeg flavor. So it really reminds me of like cranberry sauce, honestly. 
and I'm zesting this entire lime. I'm going to use, how I have like a, Molly got me while we were playing. So I have like a little cut on my hand. But I'm just using the juice of half a lime. And then it's a one fourth cup of sugar. The blackberry bush is not looking like that's not looking the best but i think i actually have a little less than two cups i'm just coming out here and picking a couple of more these actually don't look too bad this part of the bush is like actually quite nice oh but it's just the other part that looks really bad plus the blackberry season is practically over so yeah, I just haven't really been out here picking these. I think that should be good. Just going to add the bit of extra blackberries that we just picked. These blackberries aren't particularly tasty. They're like sweet, but they're a little bit more bitter than the ones that you would buy at the store. So we really haven't been getting that much use out of them, but they're absolutely delicious as a compote. So I'm going to have it on a medium heat to start and I'm going to mash up the blackberries. I really don't follow like a time or anything. I do think that like the longer you have it sit, the more kind of like jelly-like it'll become and less super liquidy. The first batch that I ever made was like very, very liquidy, but after it sat in the fridge for a little while, it did thicken up but I'm going to have this get to like a point where it's bubbling and then have it bubble for a few minutes and then turn it down on a lower heat and let like most of the liquid evaporate out. While the compote is going, I'm going to clean out my fridge a bit just so I have room to put like the simple syrup mix and stuff. Just, I need to make some room in the fridge because we have a lot of things that need to like chill and then I also need to like get I don't know, maybe like salsa or something. I need to figure out like what kind of snacks I want to put out. This just becomes like the most beautiful color. But yeah, it's been bubbling for a little bit now. It's getting a little thicker. But I'm just going to keep it bubbling for a little while longer. And then have it like on a lower heat for a bit. And then it'll be like perfect. But I already tasted some of it and it's delicious. This is my to-do list for today. I already picked up the poop. I already cleaned up the living room and I just finished making the blackberry compo. So right now I think I'm going to go to pop shelf to get some paper plates, napkins, tablecloths. It's just the best bang for your buck over at pop shelf. And then also I'm going to go to the grocery store. So I'll go ahead and do all that right now. Also, I am going to get some blackberries from the grocery store. They're on sale right now, and I know that they will taste much better in the drinks. So, not that really... Do people eat the fruit in the drinks? I do. Sometimes. So, yeah. Are you ready for your party, pretty girl? Are you ready for your party? Miss Molly, you have some eye bookies. You have some eye bookies. At the party, I'm gonna have some bowls for people to pick blueberries if they want. Some of our friends are going to the beach this weekend, so I don't really know if like most of them will pick just because they won't be home to enjoy them. But I'm excited to share with everyone. This is what I have in my cart so far at Pop Shelf. Two tablecloths, some paper plates, this big bowl for chips, this plate for watermelon, and then two bowls for chips and salsa. These are personal items. And then I have this idea. This is a frisbee for the dogs. I have this idea to fill this with ice and then put like limes, lemons, my blueberry compote, maybe something else just to keep cool for the drinks. Oh, mint probably. So hopefully that works out. I think that that'll be a good idea. Just like put ice on this big one and then fill these small ones up with like the things that I need, like lemons, limes, mint, and then the blueberry compote.
gonna decide the winner because no one's gonna get the actual first one. Is it gonna be? It's just like if someone puts um, if someone puts Pitbull and German Shepherd. Yeah. Like that would be a really good one. Like that would be a if good someone one. put if, Pitbull. If they get if they get two out of the four of her main ones. Yes, we'll see. Like yeah. if someone picks Pekingese Pitbull and Their German first. Shepherd, that's impressive. Yeah. That's impressive. Okay, time to pour. The alcohol. We're using Bacardi for all of these. Oh, these delicious mojitos. Um, you tell me when. You you'll know. Jesse doesn't condone underage drinking or excessive drinking and then driving. Yeah, More. all the all the people that are invited to this party are old. We're closer to 30 than we are 20. Yeah. Um no, yes. keep going. Yes. <laughs> yes. Keep going. Okay. Okay. Because we still need this one too. Yes. And this one will just get the rest of the bottle, you think? Uh, potentially. Just, um, do it and say. We're just gonna try them with the little shot glasses. Maybe we can mix. Take a sip from both of them and see. <laughs> Too much? It's fun. It's good. Especially with the Sprite and the blue and the blackberry. Oh, that's true. Is yeah. that too much? No, I think that's fine. Cause yeah, cause this is gonna get, get oh. mixed with something else already. But I think that's good. Yes. I would put the rest, the rest in there. Of this. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll get the other one. I didn't have like any plans on how I was gonna do my makeup, but oh. and now I'm doing a 10 minute face because we're gonna have people start coming in. In like 40 minutes and I still have to set up the outside a little bit it shouldn't be too bad though because basically like everything is prepped I think that the only thing that I need to do is get some queso from my mom but my parents are actually coming but everything else really just needs to be like set out that's the only thing we honestly aren't having like that many people over I think it's gonna end up being around 20, maybe a little under 20, but I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like 11 dogs here. We're actually gonna have two of Molly's siblings. So Justin's parents have Molly's sister, and then my friend Caitlin has Molly's brother. When we went back to the shelter after I already had Molly, we were picking up a dog for some family friends that live in Florida. And I posted Molly's siblings that were still at the shelter and my friend Caitlin was like, I want that boy. So they adopted Molly's brother and then Justin's parents have Molly's sister because for Father's Day, we surprised his dad with, they named her Holly, so we were surprised his dad with Holly and that actually went really well. That could have gone really bad. I do not recommend surprising people with animals, but we knew that he would have really like benefited from having a dog. And we knew that like him and Justin's mom would not have gone out and gotten a dog themselves. So yeah, we decided to do that i feel like i'm all so red like it almost doesn't even matter what my makeup looks like because i'm just like red some brow gel i'm so glad that my brows are freshly done but i was so worried that it was going to rain all day i've been like obsessively checking the weather app but we are in the clear it's really not even wet outside because they were saying like all day earlier they were saying that we were gonna get a few hours of rain like right before the party so i was like well shit the outside is gonna be so wet but it's really not even this is a house labs lip liner 
and it's like quite old but it doesn't really matter because you just sharpen it and it's fine a little bit of all nighter <sighs> can't even really see me that well oh I should have I should have had that turned down like the whole time makeup looks good I was thinking the German Shepherd's gonna be more. I was wrong. <gasps> I was wrong. German <laughs> Shepherd. Mountain Kerr. What's a mountain Kerr? What is a mountain Kerr? Thank you. I yeah. know. American no. Pitbull. So did that put it? I see the German is Shepherd. That to me? No. Yeah, yeah. The pit, I did not see the Pitbull. Oh, I got two of those. I got two of those. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we're getting to this. We're gonna start we're from honorable, we're gonna start from honorable mention. Uh, Rachel C and Sarah, you guys were very close. honorable mention. I'll take it with the, te with the terrier flavor. <laughs> well done. I was fighting for you guys in third, but Jesse didn't want it. No, okay. I'll take an honorable mention all day. Take the honorable mention. Uh, so third, we actually have um, Audrey. So Audrey's third place. Well done. So yes, wife. Super mutt in well here. done. Yeah. Super mutt, fifteen percent super mutt. Um, what was it? It chow was like chow? poodle chow chow and some other shit. Yeah, poodle chow chow. And what was the other You're one? Oh, Molly said, "I'm done." <laughs> I forget what the other was it? Well yeah. done, Sam. You told me I was so wrong. Congratulations. Um, we have. Uh, I would like to thank Google. <laughs> with second with poodle because that was a higher percentage. Well done. Oh. Well done. Well done. <laughs> and then the nice. winner, the actual winner, is BB. Hey, well done! <laughs> Woo. So what did I win with? You 
you, okay. you went with German Shepherd. Oh, oh nice. you got wow. a nice. What? Oh, I got one. Okay. Your choice. Oh my god. Wow. Whichever oh. one you want. I'm gonna go with the avocado one. Okay. Yes. So then, Maddie, Maddie, you get second choice. Oh. Well, Addy, you want to be He's gonna accept on my. Yeah, we yeah, think that's the cutest. He's uh, very cute. I love it. We dominated. <laughs> Raving reviews on the mojitos. <laughs> Raving reviews. I will put the recipe down below. Ten, for sure. ten. Yeah.